The first African Women's Decade, which lasted from 2010 to 2020, has seen a grassroots approach for advancing gender equality and women empowerment in Africa. Despite the focus of the last decade, women are still faced with the problem of gender inequality. This is why stakeholders insist that women must be empowered and given equal space in the nation's decision-making process. Inequality and poverty are intertwined and therefore this decade's focus is on building strategies around catalyzing and breaking that cycle that has held women and girls back for many decades. It is important the inclusion to look downward to the grassroots and look at those women, rural women, and their needs in, in terms of economic empowerment. Other stakeholders believe that if women are given their rightful place in politics and decision making, cases of banditry and insurgency will be a thing of the past. As a government, we remain committed to promoting women's inclusion into governance and decision making at all levels of the Nigerian economy. Let me say again here boldly that whatever we go through as a nation today that is negative is because women and mothers have not been given their rightful place. Women are our mothers, they are our wives, and they are our daughters. And if you educate a woman, and I'm sure not only the issue of empowering her and her children, she will make sure that the children go to school. We will not need any advocate to go to that family where the woman is educated to advocate for her to send her children to school. If there was financial inclusiveness, at an issue for our mothers and women, the story of out-of-school children would have come to be because these women would have been financially empowered to take care of their children to go to school. I gave my commitment to the fact that we are, I'm going to advocate and I'm sure we are going to invite the Honourable Minister with the uh, uh, coordinator and representative of uh, uh, Nigeria in uh, ECOSOC, Dr. Tunji, to come and address the Governors Forum. And I can assure you that all of the Nigerian governors are going to commit to this uh, uh, very, very important agenda 2020-2030. The bottom line is that there is need for financial inclusiveness for women in order to expand their financial, socio-economic and political horizons.